Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're here in Germany, the sun is shining and we're at Hansa Park. It's my first ever visit to this park and I've got seven coasters to enjoy. Are you looking forward to it? I cannot wait to get on Carden. Oh, this ride opened back in 2015. It's a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster with a surprise. It's also got lap bars as well. I've just heard so much about it so I cannot wait to try it for myself. Very mysterious. Along with that there's some other great rides at this park including a brilliant Gerslauer Eurofighter just behind us. Us, you've got Highlander which is the fourth tallest drop tower anywhere in the world it's a beast of a ride and the view from that's gonna be crazy today because it's a lovely sunny day it's and blue skies today, isn't it? yes yeah, so come and join us as we experience Hansa Park here we're also filmed the travel vlog so make sure you check that out yesterday and we're gonna be making our way down to Hyder Park next as Another well park I've not done before yeah really excited now you actually walk across a bridge from the car park to make it here to the main entrance and look at this it's so cute with all the building style Highlander there in the background and yeah you can just see Nessie over there as well a nice classic coaster you can see the top of the building for Carnan just there in the middle it blends in with the entrance structure and yeah park hours today are 10 through until 6 and looking at the crowd levels I think we're going to be in for a nice quiet day these buildings down here at the entrance to Hansa Park are absolutely gorgeous they really are they're so heavily detailed and yeah, you get to really appreciate them on such a lovely day like this as well. That's what I love at these parks abroad. You really get the infrastructure and first impressions when you come and see an entrance like that is amazing, isn't it? It's really impressive. I quite like it. It's very cute. It's so quiet today, isn't it? Dead. When I was here four years ago, it's my first and only time I've been in 2019. It was a bit busier than this, but yeah, look, look at this. It's really quiet. Let's go and get in the park. First impressions really do count and that's something they really do get perfect here because they've got the big clock which is awesome and then they actually plant the date every single day they change it like how amazing is that the 27th of April 2023 and yeah they change it obviously each day they have to change this bit and then yeah every month they're changing down the bottom like how awesome is that like so cute. <laughs> looking nice and bright today as well yeah, I'm getting a tap by as well myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at this it's great to be back at this park and yeah the entrance is stunning when you walk in just here. I thought that was Carlin going around. Oh no, no, <laughs> Carlin off to the left just there. Now the first thing that's changed since last time I was here is the fact they've expanded on all these beautiful buildings at the entrance. None of these were here before. Yeah, so this looks amazing all around here. Just the detailing and realism. You wouldn't think you were in a theme park when I show you this angle here. You'd think you were just kind of walking around um, this city, wouldn't you, like exploring. Oh, this is really impressive. There's so many little details, which is nice to see. Oh, look at this amazing angle just here with Nessie and then Highlander in the middle, especially with the blue sky. That is stunning. We're getting a little private show this morning just here. These are the only people that we've seen really since coming into the park. And a dog just there as well. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day for it. And here's a look at the main event itself, the Oath of Carnan 2015 Gerslau Infinity Coaster. That right there features a 239 foot tall lift hill inside, which is incredible. And yeah, look at this, like the speed of this ride goes up to 78 miles an hour. It's a massive structure, Gerslau Hyper Coaster. And the best thing is we're going on this with lap bars, Charlotte, I'm lap bars. I'm so excited to get on this. The layout <laughs> looks so long. You wanted to ride this for a long time oh, since it many, opened. many, years. Like, I remember us talking about this, like over a couple of years after the Smiler at Alton Towers. Wait. And yeah, this is so much better. Like it is crazy. See, I'm really excited to get on it and give this another go. This really is a monster of a ride, quite literally towering over the park because that features the lift hill and the drop in there. And the lift hill on this is very unique. Uh, I won't talk about it yet, uh, but spoiler warning, in the next couple of minutes, we will be talking about it when we come off if you want it to be a surprise. If you're thinking, hang on a minute, what's Sean going on about? It's just a vertical lift hill. This one's got a bit of a surprise on the Oath of Carnan. Unfortunately, they are very strict here when it comes to filming. You can film around the park, but of course there's no on-ride filming on most things. And also even filming in stations and that sort of thing they like to keep things very mysterious here we go then the queue line is open oh, we're making our way down to the station of a car and how are you feeling charlotte oh so you should be for this one <laughs> we'll see you when we come off and we'll put in some off ride shots wow they do a great job with the audio with the immersion and this queue line is so mysterious Tatsiki, 
mit ihm alle Verteidigungsmechanismen und Fallen, die der Baumeister in den Kanal eingebracht hat. We've just started our day with two back-to-back -back rides on the Oath of Carnan. This is an absolute beast, it really is. How did you find I it? I really enjoyed it. Like, going out of the station and onto the vertical lift, I was really nervous because of what actually happens in there, but it's just the grand scale of everything, and I was just so scared, but I absolutely loved it. Even before you get onto the ride, it builds up the mystery. You watch, like, a pre-show, and this bookcase opens up. That's the baggage hold. You can't take anything in the station because everything's in the baggage hold. That's why, you know, you can't really get many shots at this park in stations or anything. And then, yeah, you're onto the train, 16 rides. Riders, um, per train however it's how you get onto there that's very unique you go into this room and there's four sets of air gates in front of you and the lights change the music comes on and it actually picks which row you're gonna I go absolutely in absolutely love that it was just like so dramatic with the audio and then the lights and it was like you there. It's, I love it's that. a completely random selection as well. So unfortunately there's no guaranteed front row. Luckily we did get a front we row. Did. We had two rides. We had the second row which was amazing and then the front row which the was front incredible. Row was such a good ride. <laughs> it was awesome. And then yeah like Charlotte said you make your way onto the star part of this ride, the <laughs> vertical lift. You actually climb all the way up to near the top and then you actually watch projections in the tower itself and then drop back down like, vertically it's crazy like if you've not you don't know what happened you would be so scared on people that. are terrified you heard the screams just in the off-ride clip that's what's going on in there that whole process is about 90 seconds i'd say to it's two minutes so like, you know and you, you just well. howled on this vertical lift hill and then you climb back up to the top down one of the best first drops ever like it's incredible well, i was expecting to just come straight down but you don't you side with curve yeah round. the drop, drop is so good 219 foot drop on carlin as well and then you make your way out into the rest of the layout which is good fun um some bits of air time some great drops and curves uh, and then yeah there's no actual inversions on the outside section of the ride you then make your way to the brake run you think that's the end and then you've got a slow heart line roll very similar to the one on the smiler except you've got lap bars so it's even better exactly but, i do like having the lap bars you're a lot more free i think if you was on the vertical lift still with the overhead restraints for that long it might be a bit panicky definitely we've had two rides there and yeah. it's not a re-rideable coaster i've got a bit of gear oh, yeah, now it is a bit rattly but it. it's a great ride i'm so pleased we've got on it and especially with oh, charlotte's so first time I've been on it. amazing it's a gorgeous day to be here and this park is beautiful all the floral displays around little boat rides and that's the thing here it's not all about big thrill attractions you got a lot for younger visitors here at Hansa Park as well it's just really nice presented like everything's painted well everything looks really well maintained it's a cute little park we're going to make our way to another Gerslauer coaster now I haven't seen anything about this I don't know what to expect you can see it there just behind us it's another mysterious tower <laughs> And here's a look at the entrance to Escape from Novgorod just here. I always try my pronunciation, but yeah, let's go and make our way in. About half an hour wait according to the sign for this one, even on a quiet day. But yeah, look at the profile in just there on that airtime hill. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Oh, look at the train coming past here as well. Oh, it's such a cute park. I do love the parks here in Germany on such a great day as well. We can make our way in. This opened in 2009. Oh, it's so beautiful. What a day to come and enjoy this place. These queue lines are so mysterious. I've got the skeleton just up there. Let's go and ride, and we'll see when we come off.
minutes there, and that ride is really taking an immersive coaster experience to the next level. It's a brilliant Eurofire, that Honestly, isn't it? Honestly, I absolutely love that. I hadn't seen any POVs, I didn't know what to expect. There were so many surprise elements, I loved it. Yeah, you saw a little bit of footage of the stage and actually got some footage in there. And then, uh, yeah, the doors open, you go into a few like little stop scenes where you're looking at lots happening inside this big building, and then you make your way down a little drop, and you think it's going to be a bit like Saw at yeah, Thorpe Park. Drop and then go into maybe an inversion, but you don't. You go into a 62 miles an hour rolling well, it launch. It just goes so fast. I, mean, I was, wasn't expecting Before that. Before you know it, you're outside. I mean, all that's indoors. You're outside then. Um, you go around the coaster layout. You've got the one inversion, which is a heartline roll. And then you come to the brakes and you think, oh, that's the end. Then you go up a vertical lift hill inside and it's like part two of the ride. Kind of like the Smiler in a bizarre way, how it's got two sections. Yes. You then make your way up and then you go down the drop. Um, and then, yeah, make your way round and inside this big building. It's it's pitch black inside, so you can't really see what's coming. But yeah. when we were going up the lift, I was expecting to come back outside, but we didn't. <laughs> I absolutely love that. It was fantastic. The whole thing's really surprising, and you, you're never going to beat your first time going on something like Carnard and like that, you know, Definitely. because you know you don't know what to expect. But it's brilliant that we waited about 30 minutes. More than worth it. More uh, than brilliant worth ride. It. It's probably it. the best Eurofighter out there. Oh, one hundred percent. That's my favourite one I've ever done. Obviously, with all these show scenes that they've got on these rides here, especially the two big Gerslayer coasters, they're not really that quick on the throughputs, but it makes Makes them very unique, you know, because of all the show scenes and elements on that. Because you never really see anything like that on other sort of coasters. <laughs> it's it's nice great. To have a little bit of a surprise element oh, about it. Amazing. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you did oh, too. I loved it. Oh, there she is. Look at Highlander just over there. The tallest drop tower in the whole of Europe. It's an absolute beast. And that's going to be our next ride today. I say our next ride. Are you coming on, Charlotte? No, I'm not. Yeah. Coming on. I'm not <laughs> I mean, you're not a massive drop tower fan. No, it's massive. It is huge. Look at it. It's in the Scotland area. There it goes. Wow. <laughs> I tell you what, they've done a lot of work in this park since last time I was here. A lot of the older areas have all been themed in with buildings replaced, new facades. It really is looking beautiful. And yeah, it's so nice to come and see this. Such a very spacious entrance area here as well. A couple of flat rides and the new carousel coming in. As you saw just there on the sign. So yeah, lots going on. It's really nice. Yeah, I think it's just finished off really nice. I like the little details, which is lovely. Which reminds me of Fantasialand a little bit here, <laughs> just without the fountains. Yeah, you've also got Nessie just over here. Nice classic coaster. Give that a go shortly as well. Yeah, it's a shame we can't film on ride here at this park. However, it's just nice to be back here and really enjoying it. Just getting here again to come and experience it and see Charlotte's first reactions. And that's the thing with the big America trip that we just announced a few days ago. Going to be so many first reactions for Charlotte and for me from that's 10 parks. Be. But so many book this coaster, I can't wait. It's going to be epic. It's always great coming to parks the first time, isn't it? Is. You don't know what to expect. Definitely. But yeah, I'm going to go on Highlander. Are you sure you don't want to give it a go, Charlotte? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's an absolute beast. Look at this. It has got an onboard soundtrack as well, but we met some fans earlier and they said that it wasn't working, which is a shame. Oh, I love all the interaction with the rides around here. You've got the little Vekoma family coaster over there, Nessie running around, and here's Highlander standing at a whopping 390 foot tall. It is humongous up there. Uh, about to go on, and Charlotte will get some off ride shots. Here we go then, I'm all seated here on Highlander. Very excited to ride this again. Manufactured by Funtime. And yeah, what's great about this is that it spins when you're going up. So you get amazing 360 degree panoramic views. And when you get to the top, you actually tilt forwards as well before dropping down. I don't know if the onboard audio is on or not. I mean, the speakers are built in behind the seats here. I can hear a bit of a rumble, so I'll let you know after. Oh. He's off. For me, this is so tall, it keeps you at the top for so long. I just didn't really fancy this one. We'll see when he gets off to see if the audio is working for him. All the way up there. No, I've got 
Just have a ride there then on the absolutely incredible Highlander. That is a brilliant ride, one of the best drop towers out there. And yeah, it's the spinning as you're going up, the music, like the Scottish bagpipes. We're in the Scotland themed area. And uh, yeah, when you're going up there, you get to see how close we are to the sea itself, which is amazing. Like looking out at all the views and scenery and all across the park. And then uh, when you get to the top, you do actually tilt forwards. However, you don't drop down in that tilted position. It doesn't kind of go like that. Um, you tilt forwards, then you actually go back into your seat and then you lift up that tiny bit more before releasing down. And so uh, yeah, it's an amazing tower. It's not that forceful, um, the tower itself, and the brakes do start quite high. However, it's a great overall experience. I'm so glad the music was on and it really adds to it. Up next, we're going on Nessie and uh, looking forward to this. Charlotte is 43 years old this time. Oh, it looks so cute. I like the train. Classic sports car from 1980. Let's go and get on. Here she comes, the monster Nessie. Oh. That's the thing with this, I love all the female. What they do at this park with female immersion is great. I mean, look at all this around here, all the rocks, the little tunnels in the queue line, like the ivy taking over. With the themed areas here, you feel like you're not in a theme park in a way. You know, it's kind of like you're walking around exploring and seeing these different rides. He's excited for Nessie. He's going for it. Here we go, it's going to the station. Obviously, all this was rethemed and changed when they actually opened up Highlander as well. Look at that, the interaction with the rides is brilliant. Here's some off-ride shots of Nessie in action. The Schwarzkopf beauty. had two back-to-back -back rides on good old Nessie, all themed around the Loch Ness Monster of course, and you even see the Loch Ness Monster at the end with projections, oh, how good was that? So cute. I really enjoyed that, it was really good fun. I still think it's probably my favourite ride at the park, I said this last I time, like but that's oh, my that, that was brilliant was though, I, I, I do it. love that, and just a lap bar on there as well, really forceful, really intense, and whilst we're on there, Charlotte might have some news, I don't know. Come on, let's hey! <laughs> she's going for it. She's giving Highlander a try. We always say on this channel, give things a go, and if you don't like them, you never have to do them again. But there we go. I've convinced Charlotte to give it one go. Highlander, let's go and ride. It was the tilt at the top. I was really scared. <laughs> well done, Charlotte. Yay. You're ready for super tilt now this oh, afternoon. I'm ready to do that. Yeah, they have another setting on there, but we'll come back later on. Well, I'll go on it again. No, oh, Charlotte will. Again. Would you ever ride it again or not? I'm that? not too sure. I think it's just the initial like drop and stuff. It was quite scary. The initial drop. That's the main it thing of it. Like, it wasn't which was good. No, I told you it doesn't really have that much force. Scary. The brakes start high, but yeah, you're up there like a good minute or so. See, at the that's top. what I don't like. I like to know that I'm just going up and dropping back down. It's the waiting around. <laughs> panics me. <laughs> oh, well done for going on it though, it was great. But yeah, I do love this area of the park around here, having a great day here at Hansa Park so far. And uh, yeah, Nessie as well, incredible, I love that, this whole area. But yeah, Nessie's great with the loop. Oh, I like um, and also at the end as well, you're really coming to the brakes, really Yeah, you forceful. think you're going to be going inside and then it just stops. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, really sharp brakes in there. And also as well with that, you get some awesome air time with it just having lap bars. What a beast of a tower that is. So proud of Charlotte for going on there. And up next, we've got another coaster, a little Vacoma Junior coaster here, Flying Scotsman. Here's the train itself coming round. Let's go and ride. We 
we just had our ride there on the Flying Scotsman. Great family coaster that. Oh, we got to sit in the front of the train carriage. I really enjoyed it. And what really makes it is the design of the layout on there, yeah, isn't we it? we picked up the lifter and then we come through this loop. I bet it'd be great to see it as Ness is going round. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, brilliant how that was designed to actually go through. And normally these Vekoma family coasters like this, you kind of come up the lift hill and drop straight down. Well, this was purposely designed so the clearance is right there for this coaster and also Nessie. Yeah, really good. Very much enjoyed that. Then we're going on space race just here. Hey, you've got the vortex tunnel inside here. It's a fast one. This is basically like a dodgems attraction inside. Loads of cool lighting in here as well. Yeah, it's one of them dodgems that's actually powered with the electricity in the floor instead of having it on a big stick and going onto the roof. Loads of lighting, audio in here, and a big mirror ball. Just an ride there on Space Race, and yeah, it's a good fun Dodgems attraction. I like all the lighting and audio in there. And also, you can kind of shoot all these different targets around, and there's a scoreboard on the side as well. Got another flat ride located next door here as well. Spins quite fast, this one, just out here. Yeah, that dodge I scored a few points, and it didn't even register. Oh, I don't think you scored, really. I did, yeah. nice. <laughs> Are you enjoying Hansa Park so far? Yeah, it's very nice. I'm really liking it. Yeah, having a great day here. We've still got quite a few rides to do as well. We have indeed. We're going down towards Carnham again now and getting some more rides down in that part of the park. We've picked a great day to be here at Hansa Park. It's really quiet. And up next, we're going on Crazy Mine, which is a 1997 Mara Rides Wild Mouse. So yeah, let's get have a ride on here. Hey, love the music down here. Old Max Charlotte had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, all together now. <laughs> love the animatronics. Crazy Mine, let's go. Yeah, they have got some single rider queues here as well. You need to join the main queue first, but then they split off on the single rider. E I E I O. We just fit on the crazy mind there, fantastic. Yeah, exactly the same as Rattlesnake at Chestnuton with the layout on there. They're good for coasters, but the brakes are a bit short. <laughs> they always are on those. I do like all the head choppers and near misses on there. And yeah, that's the thing with these parks in mainland Europe. They look after the park which so well, so don't good. they? Which is so good. Everything just looks so fresh and clean, which is great to see. I always struggle to pronounce names at this park like this here. So that's why I do the English translation instead. This means snake from Midgard, it apparently. It does indeed. We won't do it. <laughs> I'd love to try, but uh, yeah, let's go and give this a go. It's a little Gerstler family. Casually walking to the up cabin there, Charlotte. There you go, you're operating this thing. How was your ride there on the back of the boat, Charlotte? I actually really enjoyed that. We were sat in like, this big boat, but what I like about this park is like everything's themed, like even going up the lift hill, there's a little story. It's just so well themed, I love it. Yeah, you have two laps around on there, and you actually stop, don't you, at the bottom of the yeah, lift hill first? Like a little show scene. Before going round, and then yeah, it does it again, 
before you go around for your second lap as you can see these guys are doing just here the boat's amazing though isn't it so cool i don't really know the theme of some of the rides here and what's going on but they do a very good job really nice i said this last time and i'll say it again it would be nice if there was a bit more audio around the park to add to the experience um the theme is great and we're having a really good day down here which is fantastic there's a look over at the Gerslar Skyfly that they've got here as well with some great theming on. And yeah, they've actually got a few of the smaller flat rides around here just here as well. Here we go, we've got a mini flume ride. And yeah, you can sit on a big fish just over here as well. Is it a fish it's or a whale? whale? Oh, it's a whale, there you go. <laughs> they've also got uh, dinghy slides just over there. And yeah, a few of the smaller junior flat rides. And this way, you actually have to walk through the water. There you go. You can walk around that way. Or you can go across on this boat, but the issue is it's on the other side. We need somebody to bring it over. Bring us the boat. Here we, oh, here we go. They're bringing it over. Then we'll take it back. Help! Help! I need to cross the river. <laughs> here they come to save us. Thank you very much. We'll be stuck here all day. We'll never ride Carnum for the rest of the day if we're over here. Here they come. That's it. Pull! Pull! <laughs> I love these. They got one at Europa Park in the Scandinavia area at the exit to fuel rafting. Look how close we get to the track. <laughs> you won't get that back home. Oh, there's a look at Carden. Amazing. Great views. That's it, we made it, thank you. I like how they actually just came over to, to bring us over and then they've gone back as well. <laughs> beast of a ride and just over to the right of Carden, Charlotte over here having a bounce. The question is can I get up here as well? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> hey, who thought it? Guess I'm Fancy Coaster. Bouncing, the Bouncing down here. Like, amazing. <laughs> I love European parks. I have quirky bits like this. Amazing. Here she comes. Oh, I'll tell you what. Great to be back here at this park. Really enjoying it. Enjoying it a lot more than the first time I came here. Hey! Oh! <laughs> bouncy, bouncy! I think we're going to give it another ride, shall we? Yeah. I think we've got it. Whoa! <laughs> well, we waited about 15 minutes there for another ride on Khan, and we was on row three this time with the random selector. I've got to say, the further back you get on here, you do get a good bit of girl oh, state, it don't you? A bit oh, of it was rattling a lot on there. That's the thing with girl style. I don't think the build quality of their tractors is amazing, <laughs> uh, especially later on in the day. Like, yeah, it gets a bit of a rattle. rattles about. <laughs> but uh, you know what? It's a very impressive ride. Great to get back on it again. And yeah, that lift hill—it's just insane. It's I find ridiculous. It a little bit too much on the lift hill when you're there for so long. Yeah, probably a good, a good 90 seconds yeah, or so. I'd say. Here we go. Just behind us there as well the absolute beauty yeah. and yeah the final inversion is great as well because well, it's only got one inversion you really but you, it, yeah you? you're really close to the ground as well on there you think that you're just on the brake <laughs> yeah. run and then you just go around in the inversion because everyone's really clever because it slows you right down the brake run and everybody's just talking and thinks that that's the end of the ride it's not. and then it's not <laughs> and it takes you back inside to do that i love how the show coasters at this part though even the little girl star family coaster with the boat and the it snake really makes you know everything's got a show and a storyline to it which i do really appreciate not the highest throughput because of that uh, uh, however, still, I'd much rather have a really unique experience like this. It really adds to the experience for people. It makes it really memorable. Yeah, definitely. I'll never forget my first ride on something like Carter. And all these rides, I've got these pre-shows and random moments. Like, insane. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Well, it seems like the park probably watched the vlog from last time. And you never know. They might have even listened to my feedback. There was a big flat ride here, which was a giant bell. And it was awful. It was one of the most pointless flat rides I've ever been on. Uh, it was unique, I suppose. But yeah, it wasn't very good. That was removed a couple of years ago. And they put in a little drop tower down here. And also a small little flume ride down here as well. Much better, in my opinion, than that big bell that was here before. Um, yeah, in terms of like big thrilling flat rides, it's not something they really do that much here. But they have got Highlander. Uh, which is certainly throwing it off and all the coasters but yeah nice little flume ride just here tiny little drop very similar to the one that's uh, opening at drayton manor actually how cute is this it's nice but even this look at all the rocks and everything around it like fantastic that's the big signature drop i think just over there yeah <laughs> and a small little tower just over here as well these are really good fun and yeah something they have got over here is some more really nice facades and they've also got a raft ride down this way as well which is like pirate theme so we're going to give this a go it's basically storm surge from thorpe park there you go there's a little look at the trough you can tell this is an older ride at the park but it's still got some nice theming on the station area so we're going to give this a ride 
beautiful station for this one as well. And it's absolutely walk on. get any spinning action there not the most exciting of rides unfortunately i actually quite enjoyed it i thought it was quite good fun you know why that's because it's a water ride where you don't get wet yeah you don't uh, get wet at all <laughs> nothing on there even coming down the drop like you were backwards into yeah, it and it got nothing anything. on there um but yeah it's all right it's got some good theming the lift hill's all inside a tunnel with some nice flickering lights uh, and then yeah it's got like kind of these pads as you're going down and it's supposed to kind of spin you around but, it didn't but really spin no us. not a lot <laughs> it's also got a little wave pull section down here at the end as well so yeah not the most thrilling <laughs> yeah, it's got this kind of awkward run off it's more like a relaxing boat ride around here got some performers out here as well hello hey valhalla that way <laughs> love it <laughs> like, you know, a long way to blackpool from here um yeah i do like all these facades just over here fantastic that's the thing they do some really nice detailed facades in this park some great theming having a fantastic day yeah let's keep on riding this afternoon here at hansa park into the Wild West area now. Highlander looks massive, doesn't it, on the skyline here, amazing. And yeah, we're here in the Wild West area now with the backdrop of Carnan there as well. And as you can see, you've got all these little features around here, gray stones and yeah, a little pony trek ride around in this area. What makes this Wild West area is the floor and the terrain of it. And the fact that it's not just tarmac or anything, it's actually like you're in the Wild West, like sand and rocks changes in pathways and not just the same set the whole way through yeah worth pointing out they've got lots of restaurants here lots of eateries we just had some fries and some chicken nuggets and um, just as a little put on really didn't we too hungry so we just had a little snack yeah just put us on for the day really and we do have Heinz mayonnaise here which is great <laughs> but yeah as you can see you got like this little saloon just over here ice cold beer yeah this is a lovely wild west area around here very nice horse just over there as well not a real horse just a horse fight opportunity and all the flags as well she's very nice and a massive seagull is that Bert? i think it is Bert the seagull he's come over here to germany yeah it's beautiful around here welcome down here to maggie's ranch in the old west and who's maggie he will ask is this horse just over here yeah use your best yeehaw yeah all right that was more like the sound of the horse i think that was more like going like Oh yeah, that's my impression of a horse. <laughs> oh, what a lovely horse. Oh my God, Maggie, calm down. That's a nice photo of me, that with Carlin in the background. I didn't know they had big Gerstlein Infinity coasters in the Old West. And just opposite over here, you've got the new Lubeck Christmas shops. Yeah, we'll go and have a look inside here. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas all year round here at Hansa Park. There's nothing like Christmas in Germany. Oh, we had a great trip to Europa Park, didn't we, over Christmas, oh, which was lovely. great. Love Christmas in Germany. Nice yeah, they're lovely. I wonder if they've got Hansa Park baubles. Merry Christmas. Old shooting gallery down there as well. And yeah, it's one of the best old west areas out there, this is. Mainly because of the terrain, I think it really works. And you go down to Plaza del Mar just over here, which is the theatre. They've got a few different shows here. And last time I was here, I watched an awesome laser show in there. It was only about a 10 minute show, but it was great. And yeah, that's inside that building and it's actually on later. So I have to go and check that out. Love all this beautiful theming and plenty of family flat rides around the park as well, such as Camino del Mar just here. Well, having a really good day so far here at Hansa Park. Great to get back here, get lots of rides in, and it's really not very busy at all. We're going on the Eurofighter again now, yeah, with all the mysterious scenes, and oh, it's so good. Like, you've got to come and check these out if you do, like story based driven attractions. And that's the thing, they don't have dark rides at this park. It's a shame because I think that's something they'd be really good at, but they kind of turn their indoor coasters in outdoor experiences and put them all together. So it kind of feels like a dark ride in places. And then, of course, you come out and uh, complete the rest of the track out side yeah it's really good really clever how they kind of turn these coasters into full-on immersive experiences but yeah i'll have another go on here it says 20 minute wait <laughs> Uh, what's up with 
Virginia. You all in shackles. <laughs> oh, did you enjoy your ride down in Novgorod? Honestly, that is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Oh, it's so good. We waited about 20 minutes there. Another front row ride. Insane, oh, that ride. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, she's out. There you go. Well, worth pointing out, you have this fun photo up at the exit, and they send you out of a labyrinth maze. Oh, so this exit is <laughs> what other exits are roller coasters like this? Like, oh, wait, you literally go out through a labyrinth maze. <laughs> yeah, that ride's amazing. It's got some great forces, that launch as well. Oh, you actually got me there. Brilliant. Shame we can't take you on. It's always a shame when we can't film on the rides, but yeah, they're very secretive here. <laughs> You've also got the swinging ship just over there and the train is just coming in here as well so we'll have a ride on it and this will be a ride that I can actually film on. Hey, let's take you along. No messed about with the loading. You're going straight away. We've actually got a high ropes course that you can do here as well in the park. And you'll see that over there. And lots of other play equipment as well. Like play areas. It's a really nice park. I'm enjoying it much more this time than the last time I was here. And the operations are pretty solid as well. That's the thing though, it's a quiet day. I can imagine the queues do get busy though, especially on the peak day for the likes of Karnan and Novgorod or however we pronounce it. <laughs> the amazing girls that you're a fighter. <laughs> Taking the sights and sounds of the park now on a little train ride. I do like these fellow attractions. TP's there. Little kids' dodgems. Some pretty lights on. Very well, nice ride round then on the train. We got some uh, guys just doing what to be in the video. How are you doing? You having a good day? Yes. You, you, you mean I'm Carnan? Yes. Carnan, yeah. Great lift deal. Yeah. Fantastic. They look, you like the girls Yes. He loves the girls now. Fantastic. Yes. And there it is. <laughs> oh, you got all the laugh. Yeah, coming up next we'll be heading to Hyde Park, so stay tuned for those vlogs. Look at smaller children's flat rides there as well. That mini flume. Got two mini flumes here now, because we've got that new one where the big bell used to be. And then that one just there. Very close to Carney. You don't see the big coasters going around that much here though because of all the show scenes, like I say, that's why you don't want to be here when it's really busy. You got your dinghy slides just here as well. Yeah, Colin's not gone round for a while. I've not seen it whilst we've been here on the train. Maybe it's gone down. But we've had three rides on it. Look at how well looked after Nessie is. All the supports just here for a 43 year old coaster. Amazing. That's the thing about these parks abroad, they just look after the park and the attractions. Back home, of course, they do the maintenance that's required to keep the ride safe and operating. Of course, they do that, but also it's just everything else what they don't do, and it's the painting up and making things look fresh. Yes, they're safe to operate, but they don't look amazing, you know, and that's what they do really well abroad, looking after things. Nice and chilled. I do love all them facades. Gorgeous. Reminds me of Amsterdam. There's a look at another new ride since last time I was here. Yeah, this area looks very nice. That's the thing, they're gradually going around the park and theming up areas that before looks quite dated. So yeah, it's really nice how they're doing that. Really picturesque park, all the flowers, the lovely displays. Really nice. We've got a long way to go back home when it comes to theming, haven't we? I mean, look at this here, like even the wall, all these logs and the rocks, fantastic. The day started off so lovely and sunny with that blue sky. It's just started to rain now, Charlotte. Yeah, it's cold as well. I think we'll go on this log for him because I don't think you get that wet on here from what I remember. 
Well, they have got Super Splash around the corner, but I don't think we'll go on that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a look at the log flume. Oh, yeah, we can deal with that. Walk on as well. And yeah, you got this lovely little carousel. Reminds me of the one at Plopsaland Pan, actually. Very similar. Very cute little ride. And here's the entrance to the Wild Wazza Fart. Let's go. I got wetter than I was expecting there on that long flu. You I got soaked. So. Mind, but yeah, it's really cold today. Look at this, I'm quite wet. Anyway, just come off, got a nice donut here. Oh. And so yeah, just sit on this massive armchair <laughs> in the exit. Can you imagine this, like just coming off a water ride back home, like, right, and just sitting on the armchair. We've got a nice fake fire down here as well. Tiro's 40. And we've got a lovely uh, donut with marshmallows on. So you're going to enjoy this. And then we'll uh, get on some more rides here at Hunter Park. Mm. And in terms of the log flume we've just been on, you've got the main drop that we showed you, but they've actually got a smaller one down at the back that's hidden away, and that's the one that got us wet. Crazy. Yeah, here's a look at it. Yeah, right next door, you've got Super Splash over here. And yeah, there was a few parts of the park like this um, that you can tell are a lot older. And yeah, there was a lot more of that style in this park when I was here four years ago. So it's nice to see them gradually going round and either removing older bits or retheming them. Yeah, this is one that looks quite out of place now compared to the rest of the park. Hello. Yeah, hello! <laughs> and you can see outside here as well, like some of the local flats and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'd love to see this removed, maybe a big dark ride on here or something. Because then they can really think about the sight lines and um, block this in so you don't really see the outside world as much. Because you don't notice it from uh, around the other parts of the park. You do on the bigger rides, especially Highlander. Um, but yeah, it's a look just around here. To be honest, I don't think that you get too wet on here, but I don't think we'll risk it. Because it's gone really cold now, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, we're <laughs> really chilly. But yeah, I think this will either get removed or re-themed in the future because it looks out of place now compared to the rest of the park. There's lots of lovely pretty seating areas at this park. We've got this massive propeller over here as well. Look at the size of that. Compared to Charlotte, like that is huge, isn't it? And you got to think this is still small compared to ones that you find on the big cruise ships yeah, out there. I think these come down. <laughs> oh, do they? They're sitting there all day. Do they? Oh, yeah. oh I don't know. Oh, yeah, that was a fail, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, talking of down, there is an attraction closed today, just the one. And yeah, that is the observation tower, which is a shame because we would have been able to film on that one and show you the view. Um, obviously, you know, you get a great view from up there on High Highlander, but you can't film on it. But yeah, shame this is closed, but they're doing some painting on there, some TLC. And it's better doing it on an off-peak day like this than on a busy day. But yeah, it's lovely, all the music around the park. A lot of the music here is I'm a score as well. Um, so it's really relaxing. It's like you're in a movie walking around this park, isn't it? So nice. We've just got the little kids area to check out in the middle now, and then we've seen everything. We've got a little mirror maze just down here as well. <laughs> as we make our way down. I say mirror maze, it's more just like, you know, on the pathway really. <laughs> Worth putting out at this park, you've got the signs that are also translated into English. And also along with that as well, like things like pre-show videos have also got English subtitles. What's this one? Oh, oh, that's funky. <laughs> yeah, which is really good. Hey, I'm in a bit of a dance. We've got actually one more coaster to go on here and it's very quiet, so we may as well go on it. <laughs> so this is the seventh roller coaster out of seven for us to ride here. And it's actually themed like a wooden coaster, even though it's just a little kid's steel coaster. There you go, you can see it just on here. Looks like a woody, but it's not a woody. So let's go and ride it. Do you want to ride a woody that's not a woody? Very picturesque though, and there's the boat ride. Loads of boats on there, look at them all stacked up. Throughputs, German efficiency right there. Look at this. I feel like that's had a bit of TLC since last time I was here. Yeah, we may as well go on this, but this is what we were talking about when we revealed the US trip. When we were saying, yeah, if we're going to prioritise getting on bigger rides, if we see something like this like in, on the park in the US trip, and it's busy and we haven't got time, we wouldn't do it, would no, we, you know? No, we prioritise stuff. No, 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 but still, we're going to have a ride on this one because it's very nicely themed. We'll prioritise what we can on the USA trip. It's going to be epic. Check out the announcements if you haven't already seen it. It's a Woody that's not a Woody. It's actually a Steely. Fun little ride that you get four laps round on there as well. Fantastic! I mean, it's kind of like circus themed round here with clowns and all these colours around. Yeah, it's very nice. Quite a few smaller little flat rides here as well. Mini wave swinger there. There's a bigger one at the top that we showed you earlier on. And yeah, all this round here. 
Yeah, it's very nice. Swinging ship just there. Then you've got that small little boat ride. No dark ride scenes or anything like that. It's all outside. But it's very picturesque ground here. You've got the little theatre as well, just down there. And a few more bits to see down this way. These look very old school and historic. And yeah, unfortunately we can't ride them. But the kids can, there you go, you just open the door, you've got to be under 1.4 and then you can sit on there and swim back and forwards. Looks really old school, doesn't it? <laughs> you sit in the giraffe up there, Charlotte. Oh, yeah. There you go, that's cool, isn't it? There you go, you got a photo on the giraffe, that's brilliant. <laughs> when she comes down, we'll have to take a photo. Little plane ride over here as well. And there's also a small car ride. These little safari jeeps over here and that is the name of the ride, Safari Jeep Station, that you can see just over here. It's like the tiki room. Well, that's the family area here at Hansa Park in Germany, a brilliant park. And we're getting some more re-rides in now. We've just done two more on Nessie, haven't we? Oh, I love Nessie. And we love like re-rider policy. If there's no day in your air gate, you get to stay in your seat. Fantastic. Obviously, it's nice and quiet like it is today. Also, just being on Highlander again. Oh, here comes Nessie, the beauty. Yeah, I've been on Highlander again. Whee! And so uh, this time with super tilt. And yeah, with this, it tilts you the same sort of angle, but you stay tilted all the way down this I one. I this one <laughs> Well, it's just about to go again, so I'll show you a bit of footage of it. Up they go! Hey, <laughs> brilliant. I do love how it spins around, and you've got that soundtrack with the Scottish music. Brilliant. And yeah, all the way up to the top, and yeah, it'll tilt forwards like it normally does, but then instead of going back into the standard seating position, it stays tilted all the way till it comes down. There she goes, old Nessie. <laughs> and yeah, they're all the way up the top there now. Spinning round, taking in the amazing views. It's tilted forwards now. So everyone's facing, looking down. It might not tilt forwards lows, but it's just enough for the fear. And of course you stop <laughs> before dropping down. Wait for it, any second now. Literally lifts up that last bit and then comes dropping down. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so if you look at all the riders, as you can see, they're all still facing, tilting forwards just like that. <laughs> what a showpiece. Yeah, but now it's actually on the ground. That's when we'll see it actually go back into the normal positions. That kind of shows you the tilting on there. And there it goes. Don't fancy the tilting, Charlotte? Come on, let's go. Hey! Look at Charlotte from a few years ago. Like, you would never go on a drop tower like that. No, you had two rides. I quite enjoyed the tilted version more than the sit down where it goes backwards. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Too full, so quite good. Oh, fantastic. We've just done some more re rides. We've done the boat coaster again. Along with that, done Crazy Mind. That's a name that I can actually pronounce. And yeah, we're off to watch this laser show now. And uh, last time I was here, I really enjoyed it. It's like literally a 10 minute laser show in a theatre. And it was brilliant. So yeah, just going to go and check that out again. I'm glad they're still running that four years later. And then yeah, it'll be the last hour of the day. We'll get some more re rides in. Yeah, we've been around the park. We've got loads done today. Uh, 18 minute wait there for Carnan. Yeah, they must literally count the amount of people joining the queues because it's very precise. It's like earlier on with the other Gerslauer, that said it had a 23 minute wait. And yeah, they're very accurate. So they must count them in. Like yeah, know how many trains things are running and have these precise queue times. German efficiency. Well, we've just been into the theatre over there to watch the 10 minute laser show. And yeah, last time I enjoyed it a lot more than this time because yeah, it was all themed around the rides at the park with all the different music from Highlander and a few other bits. This time it was more to fit in with the Mexican kind of style of the area just here. I enjoyed it. It was quite different with all the dancing and stuff. It was quite good fun. Yeah, they had some actors in there this yeah, time. It was like doing this. A bit of flamenco on it really going on. Yeah, it was all right. I thought it was a lot better last time with the park music in my opinion. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's nice and just sitting there for the warm for 10 minutes too. It was lovely and warm. <laughs> anyway, we've made our way back outside, last part of the day, and we're gonna get our final few rides in. So we'll get on Carnan again and uh, go from there, get some re-rides. I'll put in a bit more off-ride footage before we wrap up the vlog. Look at that tower though, it's ridiculous. I love it.
Waited just five minutes there for a ride on Carden. Brilliant. That was our fourth ride on there of the day. Just thought I'd show you some of the merchandise in here as well. Yeah, fantastic. Really do like the merch. Do some really good stuff at this park. Take home the memories. Very nice variety of t-shirts, bags, all sorts. That's got the tower on itself. That's quite subtle though, which is nice. It is, yeah. You wouldn't think, oh, that's a roller coaster shirt, you know, straight away. Mugs down there. Well, we had another ride on Carnan and also Novgorod over there as well. Absolutely amazing. Such oh. a good coaster. Don't know if we're saying it right or what, but it's an amazing ride. We always try our best with our pronunciations. Well, there we go. We've had an amazing day. I reckon, including re rides, we've clocked up way over 30 rides yeah, here today. We've done so much. Absolutely amazing. We're just going to make our way now up to the exit, and yeah, we'll wrap up the vlog shortly. Well, we've had an absolutely brilliant day here at Hansa Park in Germany. And yeah, look at Nessie just over there. All these facades, what they redid down here at the entrance, look amazing. And there's been so many improvements since last time I was at this park. Oh, listen to the sound of that. The power of Schwarzkopf, amazing. And yeah, you've got the boat just over there as well. You can see that on the logo for the park. And yeah, let's have a little stroll through the gift shop just over here now. Oh, we've got the Highlander t-shirts just over here. 21 euros 90, that's cool. Merch is really good here. Kind of reminds me a lot of the merch that you can find at the Merlin Parks, actually. That with the designs of it, that's great. Charlotte's fave. Yes. <laughs> Cushion, 12 euros 90. They're yeah, not too bad. I don't think I'll get that back on my Ryanair flight, though. <laughs> they charge me about 50 euros, probably. <laughs> and we've even got the mascots down here as well as we leave the park. <laughs> See you later. Oh, what a great day. The big clock and the date down there as well. Amazing. This one, I also compliment them on their opening hours. 10 a.m. through until 6 p.m., even on a quiet day like this. Brilliant. Come on, Alton Towers. Well, that brings us to the end of our day here at Hansa Park. We've had a fantastic day, haven't we, Charlotte? I've really enjoyed it, and we've just got so much in, so many re-rides. It's amazing. I've got a little bit of Gerst ache, but uh, you know what? It's been fantastic. And talking of Gerst, it was amazing to get back on Carnan and, yeah, get Charlotte so on there. I'm so glad that I finally got to go on it and see what it was all about. It's a great ride. It really is. That lift hill is ridiculous, <laughs> and you've got to come and give it a go. It's crazy. Along with that, Highlander, you went on there. Oh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it, actually. It was a bit scary, but I'm glad that I went on it. Well done for giving it a go. Also, special shout out to the one and only Nessie, the Schwarzkopf oh, Classic. I love Nessie. Our oh, brilliant ride, really enjoyed that. And I think what is now both of our favourite rides at this definitely. park, after more rides on it, it's definitely going to be North Grand, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the oh, absolutely amazing. loved it. It's just all the surprise elements, the launch, <laughs> the indoor section, I absolutely loved it. Brace yourself if you are going on there, because you watch the show scene on the left, and then you drop down Make and you're sure you straight into back. it. Rolling launch to 60 miles an hour, which is incredible. We've had a really good day, the staff have been a lot better than really last time friendly. I was here. Um, they're not wearing like the themed outfits on the rides anymore like last time. Maybe that's something that they've changed or because of COVID or something like that. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, uh, it's been really good. The staff have been a lot better. Operations have been pretty good here today yeah, as well. Yeah, it's been quite fast getting the trains out, which is good. Yeah, it's never going to be amazing because of the types of coats, especially the two big Gerslauers. With the show scenes, it's never going to be that quick. You know, the design for them show elements. But that's what makes it. Yeah, we've had a really good day. I've just very much enjoyed this park. I like the improvements they've made to some of the theming. I think there needs to be some more audio still around the park to make it even more immersive it's a bit quiet, um, yeah it is yeah it's completely silent in some areas however the landscaping's nice i like how they've uh, kind of made some of the older areas look really fresh and just overall it's been a cracking day i've loved this had a great day amazing we'll definitely be back in the future oh, to haunter park and we would 100 percent recommend a visit it's been really really good here today how it would be on a very busy day i'm not too sure you might get a bit frustrated on a busy day i think yeah with, with... i can imagine the queues get quite long with the dispatches yeah um but it's been great today on a lovely quiet off peak day in april it's been cold though but we've oh, had a good one freezing. fantastic anyway coming up next we're going to be down at hyder park oh, i'm really looking forward to it. another part that i've not done yeah we're going to be filming a day one and a day two there and staying on site at the hotel so stay tuned for that and check out the travel vlog if you haven't already seen it as well but from hansa park that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep on riding. riding we'll see you at Heidi.